Hi, good morning and happy new year. It's Jason from Fraser Valley Rose Farm and I have something special for you today. I've compiled a list of your favorite garden YouTubers ranked both by their views and by subscribers and these guys cover the wide range of topics all the way from general gardening to orchids and tropicals, cannabis cultivation, ponds, you name it, they're on this list. So let's get right into it. I thought I'd start out with the top five channels ranked by number of views. I thought that was the best measure of popularity. There's a little difference in the way they line up by subscribers, but I'll get into that in a minute. So number one by, ranked by views is Garden Ants, her main presenter on that channel, of course. We're all familiar with Laura from Garden Answer, and they do a wide range of topics, all the way from ornamental to veggie gardening, uh, a lot of crafty type stuff too, vlog style stuff. I mean, there's just not much they do wrong. It's all very high quality and uh, have a very, very loyal view uh, second on this list, so Garden Answer had 373 million views. It might change day by day, so that'll be outdated very quickly. Uh, next one up is Epic Gardening with 207 million views currently. Epic Gardening, their main presenter is Kevin. This is out of San Diego, California. And again, wide range of topics. I would say that Topic Videos is the mainstay of this channel. Does a little bit on the home steady or self-sufficiency end as well, uh, but really focused on the veggie gardening and other general gardening topics. Number three on the list, it might be a surprise for some of you. This is a channel called Grow With Jesse. Now, uh, the reason why this is brand new to YouTube is because YouTube just brought over the short format video, sort of copying over from TikTok, and Grow With Jesse's channel is from TikTok. So this is gonna be an interesting test, uh, tons of views, and we're gonna find out pretty quickly whether that can translate into long form content success. So, uh, but so far it's already yielded her huge amounts of views on YouTube Shorts and a, num a good number of subscribers as well. So uh, I guess we'll have to keep our eyes on that. Uh, number four on this list uh, is Self-Sufficient Me. And this is Mark from Australia, and it's good to get some representation from the Southern Hemisphere into the top five. Again, this guy really goes deep into the sort of self-sufficiency and homesteading. And you will find as we go further down the list that there are a number of big homesteading channels that are represented here just based on the strength of their gardening content. And I'll talk a little more about how I selected which homesteaders fit on this list and which ones didn't. Uh, next one up and rounding out the top five is a channel called Urban Gardening, and this is Mohit from India. And uh, he also has another channel in Hindi, and I would say that the Indian garden channels feature very strongly in the top 25. I think there might be up to four of them uh, that are from India. And uh, I only selected channels here that were English because I just don't have the capabilities of screening and searching for channels in other languages. Uh, but India has a very strong contingent of channels that are presented in English as well. So uh, they're, they're, he's the first that shows up on this list, but not the last. Moving on to the next page here, number six through 10, and I'm gonna stop giving so many biographical information unless I have something interesting to say about the YouTuber, because otherwise it's gonna take me forever to get through this list. Next up in the number six spot is M.I. Gardner from Michigan, a uh, very popular YouTube channel. The next one up is Simple Living Alaska. Now, this is the first of the true homesteading channels, and I mentioned that I had a little trouble uh, trying to screening out where should the homesteading channels fit on this, and what I sort of, basically ended up doing is looking at their most popular videos and if somewhere in the top 25 of their most popular videos there's a good amount of straight up gardening topics i included them on this list if it was more about animals and buildings and uh, preserving then i didn't do the homesteading channel on on this list i know it's kind of an editorial decision but i wanted to keep this focused on gardening uh, but Simple Living Alaska definitely has a good amount of gardening content. Uh, next one up is Growing Your Greens. This is, uh, uh, John has an energetic presentation, so uh, everybody knows, uh, knows that channel or has seen it one way or another. Uh, next one up is interesting, this is Plantarina, and this is the first uh, houseplant and tropical related and maybe a little bit of home decor related channel that features on this list, but once again, certainly not the last throughout the whole list of channels that I collected. Uh, and in the top 10, rounding out the top 10, is Gary Prolarchuk, and he's been around for a long time. This is, uh, he, he's also known as the Rusted Garden, and, uh, and again, just classic choice for a general gardening channel. 
Moving right along here, number 11 has Living Traditions Homestead, which is another home, full on homesteading channel with a lot of good gardening content. Uh, following that is the Gardening Channel with James Prigioni, uh, another uh, high energy presenter, I would say. Uh, then there's Garden Up, and this one is out of Mumbai, India. And uh, also following that, Gardening is My Passion is also out of India. So uh, there's another two of India in the top uh, 15, say. And uh, then there's California Gardening, and of course this is a, an established channel out of California. In number 16, Roots and Refuge Farm, another homesteading channel with a lot of good gardening information. Then Daisy Creek Farms with Jag Singh, followed by The Lawn Care Nut, that's the first uh, lawn related uh, or lawn care related channel. And I will put a note in here is to say that one thing I didn't include in this is those lawn mowing or pressure washing video channels that more or less just do time lapses or you know i mowed this old lady's lawn and almost got arrested by the police kind of videos which seemed like a different genre to me don't really have informational content but more just sort of like zone out and watching content uh following that one was uh uh, uh Callie kim 29 Garden and Home DIY, which has been around for a long time. I've run into her channel a lot. Uh, and rounding out the top 20 was Miss Orchid Girl, which is the first uh, orchid specialty channel on this list. Uh, following that, Bonsai Empire. So again, that's uh, that's bonsai related, pretty self-explanatory. Uh, followed by Hugh Richards, which is, uh, I'm going to call him like the Justin Bieber of uh, garden YouTubers. He started this thing when he was like, I don't know, 14 years old. His channel goes back 11 years. And if you pull back uh, really far back, you'll see those early videos of, of uh, this uh, charming Welsh kid presenting gardening information. So uh, good on him. Uh, next one up is Summer Rain Oaks, which uh, also has uh, a, a second channel. So this is sort of the urban homestead channel. And then she also has Flock Finger Lakes channel, which is much further down the list, uh, followed by Ryan Knorr Lawn Care. So that uh, also makes it into the top 25 on lawn care. And the final one in the top 25 is called Plant Abundance. And that's sort of, again, self-sufficiency related. So you can see the self-sufficiency in homesteading channels are very well represented in the top gardening YouTube channels. In fairness to everybody, I wanted to say that this list may not be complete. And what I had to do, because there is no centralized list of gardening channels on YouTube, is I had to search out different topic areas in English, which is, of course, my language. And that's why I didn't really get into for instance, the French language, there's a good permaculture channel there. There's a bunch of Korean channels, a bunch of Hindi channels, but I just felt poorly prepared to search out those topic areas. Somebody else could do those lists. Um, even amongst the English language, I think there's some chance that within the top 25 that there's a channel in a topic area I didn't think of or didn't so search closely enough that should be in that top 25. And if you are one of those channels or if you know of one of those channels, they're one of your favorites, uh, drop me a note in the comments and I will update the listing in the description of the video as well as in the pinned comment. Uh, I know it doesn't do that much good, but at least it will be there for people to find out. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that if one of your guys didn't make the top 25 and you want to know where they are on my grand list because I, I collected about 350, also drop me a note in the comments and I'll let you know generally where they land on the list and who they're above and who they're below. All right, the other thing I wanted to say is that the interesting channels on this list didn't stop at 25 and there's a whole bunch of topic areas further down. I was just very impressed by the diversity of channels that are on here. Uh, down at number 34, I had Lex Blazer doing cannabis cultivation. Uh, down at number 47, I had the Kiwi Grower uh, doing a bunch of kiwis and tropicals and, and more of the exotic type fruit. Down at 53, I had Greg Whitstick, the pond guy. So there, again, you know, all of, the, all of the main topics within gardening are represented somewhere on this list. And you have to go all the way down to 68 before you find a specialty rose channel. But I'll see if I can do something about that. Now let's talk about subscribers because I've just resorted my list on my computer here to talk about where the rankings are by subscribers. And although the top five people on the list haven't changed, their order has changed a little bit. So in the top five now, Epic Gardening has the most subscribers. Self-Sufficient Me has number two. Garden Answer is at number three. 
Urban Gardening is at number four, and Garden Up is at number five. Now, out of the top 25, there are a few new faces that make the top 25 once you rank them by subscribers, and let me give you a page of those. There's, there's Next Level Gardening, which is at number 11. There's Charles Dowding, that's the, the no-dig guy from England, and he's at number 17. There's Off Grid with Curtis Stone, again, homesteading, but on the strength of his previous gardening videos from early on when he was the urban farmer, Curtis Stone, he's sitting at number 19. Project Diaries is at number 20. Uh, Grow Veg is at number 22. And Hollis and Nancy's Homestead is at number 25, rounding the whole thing out. Well, I guess I'm just about ready to wrap up here. As I mentioned, if, I think of, if you think I've missed somebody that should have been on this list, definitely feel free to drop into the comments and let me know uh, where I should be looking for those channels. There are some people that I left out intentionally, and uh, maybe I'll just wrap up by saying that if it was a large scale farming, like uh, planting corn and wheat and harvesting that, I left that out, just didn't seem to be too applicable to the home gardener. Uh, except for, I said Veggie Boys and Farmer Dre, because they have strong elements of gardening knowledge or know-how in those channels. Uh, if they were homesteading channels that didn't have strong elements of gardening in it, I left those out. That's kind of a judgment call, so if you think there's somebody that uh, should have been included, I can definitely have a look at that. I left out aquarium plants because I just didn't think that felt within the definition of core gardening. Um, I left out people like Blossom and Brightside and 5-Minute Crafts and other similar garden hack type videos. Uh, certainly uh, all of the scammy... Uh, fake propagation videos got left out as well. I just didn't think they belonged within this topic area. Um, I didn't do the non-English videos for reasons that I mentioned earlier, so if they didn't have some informational presentation uh, in the English language, I just didn't go there, draw the line right at the edge there. Uh, and anything that is robo-voiced or other recycled footage set to music, I left that out as well. So aside from those ones, definitely feel free to point me in the right direction. Thanks so much for watching today. Happy New Year, and uh, see you again soon.